Hey guys, this is Lee from Gaxonet. So today we have a particular piece of news that came out, and that is that Nintendo's president has revealed what is to be their plan for the current year 2016. Now, I have a couple of interesting bits of information here, and it's kind of nice to know that the president is willing to share his plans with us, the community, for this year. I don't remember if Iwata really did that. I don't really remember if they released their basic information for throughout the year, but it's nice to know that they, they're they trying to open it up to the public and share more information and not try to keep it so close to hand that then we're just wondering what what are they thinking, what are they planning, what's going on here. So it's really interesting to see that. So the first point we have here is that Kimishima, yeah, Kimishima says that Nintendo wants to surprise fans with new ideas, not built on old ones. And Nintendo will indeed release information on the, the Nintendo NX this year. So what does that tell us? Once again, like I said in my previous video, I don't believe the NX will release this year. I do in fact believe that we might see some information released on E3, building up that hype. We'll have the initial lineup and stuff like that. They might even release the official release date, but I. I honestly don't believe it'll release this year, so Nintendo will definitely not turn their backs on the Wii U when it's so when its lifespan has still been so short, and they know that they released the NX this year. They're basically going to cut off the Wii U. People will not buy it. There's a social plummet unless when they finally reveal the information, it is something so completely different from the Wii U that consumers will still be interested in the Wii U. But I don't think that that would be the case. So really, it's just a way and see mentality at this point. Um, but we'll get into speculation further on when we when details um, start arising. Um, like I said, we'll start hearing a lot of rumors. So it'll be a fun time for Nintendo fans once these little pieces of information start trickling down uh, through the internet. Okay, so that brings us to the uh, next point in this article. And that is that Kimishima explained that the expansion to smartphones, theme parks, and also the movies and TV animes is indeed progressing. This is something that's really interesting to see that Nintendo is in the characters be used for new, brand new projects. And I'm, you don't even believe I've said it, am. So you finally see that Nintendo is opening a theme park. I've always wanted Nintendo to do something like this. So it's really interesting to see what they'll do over in Universal Studios, I believe, was the theme park they're going to be using. So once that comes to 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 be, I'm definitely heading over there, and I know I'm gonna have a lot of fun. I know it'll be a blast. So I truly, honestly, cannot wait to see what they come up with. The following point that he makes in his article states that it is vital for Nintendo to experiment with new business models, and he also confirms that the smartphone app will be rolled out in March. I cannot agree anymore with this statement. Nintendo definitely needs to try out new business models. They're losing their faithful and loyal uh, fans, so it is truly vital and important that Nintendo try out new new things to really get uh, new fans to come up to them and not just stay in the same model that they have where they re-release games with the same story. I mean, I admit I'm a Nintendo fan, but there, some of the games have been a little disappointing because, for example, the Mario series, you can tell that they just keep doing the same story over and over again with just new levels. And the new Super Mario series and stuff like that, it it gets kind of annoying to know that they do that. I do wish that they tried something a little more creative with the franchise and not just for the same game with new levels and stuff like that. So, to see that they're experimenting with new games, new IPs, stuff like that, it's really fun and really gets you, us fans, motivated. They're also really new fans when they come up with games and stuff like that that will interest them. So it's really an interesting concept. And I really do think it's a great idea that they get out of the box, start thinking outside the, the area they thought for, the same line they thought for so many years. So it's really fun to know that they're finally growing up with new ideas. And then continuing on this point, Kimishima promises smartphone apps with Nintendo's famous characters in 2016. Now this is something that will be interesting as well. We all know the smartphone app market 
is truly the place to be during this con this generation in general. Um, the majority of people spend their time with smartphones, so if Nintendo can release uh, applications, apps with their IPs that people will get motivated. And it's really interesting with Nintendo again, since the majority of consumers don't like to invest in home consoles anymore. I mean, sure, we do have the PS4, Xbox One, stuff like that that have incredible amount of sales. Nintendo is indeed very fallen behind. So maybe the smartphone app world, since a lot of small children are actually using smartphone and tablets rather than home consoles, to get them interested in Nintendo in a whole new environment, a whole new level, it truly is a smart decision from Nintendo's part. They had to cave in at some point, and I guess they would have just been bound to have, and it was inevitable. He also mentions that this will also help the company's financials, and it will help them bring them to a new level. And I totally agree. The like I was saying, like I said before, the smartphone app market is truly the place to be. the The amount of income that companies generate from up, from smartphone applications is insane. So, if they can focus something else, like for example, they've gone the correct route with e Amiibo. They've generated millions of dollars. So if now they go into the smartphone um, app market, Nintendo truly has hit a gold mine with these two brilliant ideas, and I know a lot of people are against it, a lot of um, original Wii fans prefer that they stay in the consoles, uh, faithful to their consoles, but let's be honest, um, Nintendo can't survive solely by focusing on these markets, I mean, look at Sony and Xbox, they've progressed and they actually created apps for smartphones, like the PlayStation, sorry, the PSN app for, um, Smartphones and tablets is really, it's, it's a pretty cool app. You can actually like text your friends, use it as a to see who's online, what they're playing, um, use another instant messaging. Like I said, it truly has a lot of potential. If can, if Nintendo can do something like this, it will truly be the smartest choice they could actually make. And in conclusion, Nintendo plans to bring profits to 100 billion yen, which is the equivalent of about 855 million dollars in several years. And they also had to know that it was, would be approximately four times of, of last year's profits. Um, I do think it's truly, it is honestly an achievable goal. It's really not that out there. And with all the ideas they've been making, like I said, with the Amiibo sales, all the game sales that they're having lately, with the release of the NX in the coming months, it's, it's truly achievable. It's, it's not impossible. And I truly wish Nintendo the best, and I really wish they succeed in the in these um, in these endeavors. I really do wish that to see Nintendo succeed when they're trying to get out there and come back from the dead. Really, they've been they've been really falling behind, man. And I really do wish to see them come back and really gain back their loyal fans that they've lost to these other companies. Um, I truly, and I also truly think that they finally opened their eyes to the competition. They've been so, they've been ignoring their competition is the reason they've fallen behind. The fans have tried to tell them and warn them time and time again, and they just would not listen. So maybe with Kimishima's leadership, um, he'll truly bring a new mindset to Nintendo, and I really hope that it works out. So I guess that's it for that. But I also have a new surprise, I bet you see him, you've see you seen him right here behind me. I actually got the Shovel Knight Amiibo. He is truly amazing, His, the quality is stupendous. And the new things he brings to the game are pretty fun. I've been playing it with my girlfriend and she's been having a lot of fun. And like the, I don't know if I may do a video later on, but the things you unlock are pretty fun, like for example. Um, she likes feminine, she's really feminine, so she likes that you can turn Shovel Knight pink and with a little honeybee or whatever behind it. And you can actually change the suit and put on like new costumes and stuff like that. It's really, really cool. But I'm going to do like a little video showing that stuff later on. Plus with the Let's Play I'm recording for um, Plague of Shadows. Um, I think now's the best time as ever, I guess. So yeah, I guess I'll conclude this video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and please remember to like and subscribe for more videos.
and I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye.